What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today what I'm gonna be doing is showing you how I run flags on my truck. And as you guys can see, you're probably like, well, you don't have a flag on your truck. I usually do. Um, I took it off because it was getting work done to it and stuff. So I'm gonna put one back on now uh, and I'll show you guys because I've got questions about how I actually like, because I made the flagpole and uh, it's pretty inexpensive actually to make it. So this is what I'm running with, all right? It's pretty much a big wood dowel. You can get it at a, you know, like Home Depot, Lowe's, any store like that. Uh, I got some little eye hooks that are screwed in here. And then these little clips. So these little clips are gonna clip onto the flag and with it um, kind of being like hooked to the little eye hook, it can move around and uh, it doesn't get wrapped around the flag. Like if you attach the flag just to the pole, it's gonna get all wrapped up, but like this, it kind of gives it um, a little bit of wiggle room, not as much as if it can go all the way around the pole, but um, you really don't don't end up uh, like getting your flag caught um, if you run it like this. So the way that I mounted this to the truck, you can see I have this little metal wire right here. And uh, I'll go over like, you know, what it costs to make this uh, in a second. Obviously it's it's pretty cheap. It's probably like the cheapest, most sturdy flagpole setup you can make. But um, how you do this, you just stick it right in your like factory bed, bed rail hole or whatever. And then this metal wire is gonna run. I drilled two holes in the plastic bed liner. Um, and I gotta take this little piece of metal out of here um, but I drilled two holes in there and then you just kind of tie this piece of metal through and then you tie it in a knot and then the flagpole's not going to go anywhere okay so you can see I ran one side through this hole one side through this hole ran them together on this side and you want to make sure that you don't have them like sticking up like that um, you're going to want to like run them together and kind of point them downward if you can stick them back into that hole down there um, because your flag is going to get caught on that so because it's kind of a sharp edge but if you just kind of stick it down your flag's not going to get uh not going to get stuck in there so <clears throat> then you can see it's it's in there pretty good you know it moves around a little bit but um i'm sure there's a better way to mount it this is just how i do it um i've never had a flag fly out at all um i have had flags go flying out of this truck before but never this this metal wire stuff is pretty it's 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 definitely strong enough for this so um yep and then you're gonna take your your flag the little eye hooks on your flag so i got my flag right here and um you're gonna take your flag and hook it up just like this with your little metal things, you know, obviously I don't need to tell you guys how to put a flag on, but they go through like that. Oh. And as you can see, it kind of holds it out a little bit. So, <clears throat> yeah, that's just pretty much my cheap flagpole. You can probably get these dowels for, I don't know, under 10 bucks if you go to Home Depot or whatever, you have them cut it, you say you need a piece this long. Um, this is probably like a five foot pole or so. Um, you can probably get out of there for under 10 bucks on that. And then these are probably going to run you like probably a couple bucks a piece for these little fittings. So it's pretty cheap, like under 15 bucks, uh, to build this flagpole. Or you can buy a, you can just buy the whole rod, cut it yourself, which is what I did. And I have another one that I put on the other side, but, um, yeah, I'm probably not going to run this flag though. This is just for demonstration purposes. People in the North, you know, they get offended by this. So... That's not the flag that I'm gonna be running. I'll probably throw a good old uh, American flag on there or something like that. But that's just my uh, that's just my cheap flag setup. I know a lot, some people in the comments have been asking me about that, so figured I'd show you. If you wanted to, you could throw something on the end of it. You could paint it. You know what I mean? Like it's kind of a customizable thing, and it's cheap too. So like, you know, if you want to buy a little bit of paint and throw it on there, or put a little topper up there, that's cool too. So yeah, that's the flag setup. I think it looks pretty freaking good. Um, 
it's super easy to mount it and everything. So, yeah. I mean, little rundown on the truck. If this is the first video you've seen and you want to consider subscribing, this is my 96 F-150. Six inch suspension lift, three inch body lift on 38 by 13 uh, Maxxis Creepy Crawlers, 15 inch uh, fuel revolver, 15 by 10s, negative 43 offset, bed liner paint job, full restoration. All the videos are on the channel of that kind of stuff. Uh, going from pretty much being a rusty old truck to looking like it does now and I still need to get a new bumper. But um, yeah, I mean, if you guys wanna, you know, click that subscribe button and we'll have some more stuff going on with this truck soon. Um, also, I don't I don't really, like I had the flag off too, cause you know, it's getting worked on or whatever, getting some stuff done to it. Uh, actually getting these tires put on, but <clears throat> I don't run one in the winter though, because you know, they get all icy and they get, they just get ruined in the winter. So I wait till it gets a little bit warmer out and then I put them back on, but side note guys you see this my 2017 registration sticker i know i was saying in yesterday's video yeah i don't i don't think i ever registered this truck for last year so because that's when we were doing like the whole like you know, like the whole build of the truck and everything and it's inspected but it's not registered and i was looking back because i was thinking like somebody might have just like st like stole my stickers while I was parked at the shop, like getting the tires and stuff done. And um, I was looking back at old pictures and I, I never actually had the current registration stickers on it. So I've been driving around for like a year with either an unregistered truck or I just lost the registration and forgot to put the stickers on. I really don't know, but of course my town hall is only open three days a week. And one of those days is not today. So I'm gonna have to wait till like Wednesday until I can go down there and figure out if this thing's registered or if it's not so yeah can't really drive it right now i mean like i've been i've been driving it for a year with the wrong stickers on it and i haven't had a problem but you guys know this truck is a lot bigger than it used to be so it's kind of gonna especially with the flag and everything it's it's gonna draw a lot more attention so i'd rather be registered and i'd you know like if i do get pulled over and they're like license and registration i'm gonna be like, uh, i don't have that you know what i mean like i got a license but I just found out it's not registered, so it's probably a good thing I didn't get pulled over. I'm gonna have to go figure that out on Wednesday, but yeah, I mean, I've just been out here today. I washed the truck today, um, spent a little while doing that. These rims look freaking sweet when they're all cleaned up. Don't get any real water spots on them either. <clears throat> Cause I, I did my best to try to not get water spots on them, but yeah, I gotta do, what else I gotta do guys is I still need to get some of that like tire paint pens or whatever and go over these letters in white or whatever color. I think that would be, it would really set it off a little bit. Um, Cause you kind of got like the aluminum, um, I don't know what these are called, but these little aluminum kind of rivet looking things. I think we kind of set it off with the white lettering on the tires too, so. And then I got like the chrome, or not the chrome, but the, uh, you know, the silver springs and everything. So I think we just kind of set it off, kind of complete the whole, complete the whole look of it. But yeah, all right. That's the flag install. That's the update on my registration. That's the update on the truck. Um, if you guys have any other videos you want me to do, any modifications you want to do, I do have a thing in mind. Um, but if, if, if you have anything you want to like, you know, comment down below about things you want me to see or something you want me to make a video on or whatever or questions you can ask them in the comments um there's tail lights that i found that actually have like they look like this all right like they look stock but they have a led kind of around right here like like the new trucks have so if i can find some of those i'll probably be doing an install of that because i think that'd be pretty sweet I still gotta go, I still gotta look into them a little bit. Um, Cause they might be junk, but I just thought they kind of looked cool. I saw them on the internet, so I gotta find out where I can buy those. Probably eBay, but yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, all that information is on the screen right now. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you all for watching.